Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Thanks for tuning in and uh, it is ABC Free Signals winning trade entry rules. Okay, so every winner, regardless of their sport or profession, follows a simple plan for success. The plan consists of a set of actionable rules to follow, which are repeated over and over again. Why? This is because the rules are designed to keep you disciplined and focused. The simplicity is for your mind to stay razor sharp with less stress. And the rules are made to get you not only battle ready, but battle conditioned to keep you confident for a long and profitable Forex life. Now, this is my definition of a winner. I've used this analogy before. Trading Forex is like going into battle. Every time you open up a trade, you're battling two enemies at once. The first enemy, you're waging war against an invisible army. This is what I call the smart money controlled by the banks and the largest institutional investors. Secondly, you're waging a war against your biggest oppo opponent, and this is a psychological war against your mindset and emotions. At times, it will hurt more than your worst migraine headache. Trust me. Without any rules, you will be destroyed. The rules give you a winning chance for you to live another day. The rules will help you prove them wrong. And if you don't understand what I mean by that, you can see my last video. Okay, guys, this is me again. My name is Martin, and you can see down below here, I'm a proud Canadian trader. And if you want to receive my free signals, and yes, I said free, there's no obligation, nothing to pay for, there's nothing to buy, there's no credit card needed. All you have to do is send me your email address, okay, to my email address, which is mskyj zero zero seven at gmail.com and i'll have more of this uh, a little bit later on in the video now we're going to look at very importantly the trade signals i sent out this past previous week we're going to see what happened and uh, before and we're also going to look at the charts okay so we're going to look at all my uh, the entry instructions i sent you so uh before we do that here is my humble disclaimer guys and this is really important my free signal service is an educational program only i'm trying to teach you how to trade correctly and not give you any specific investment advice it's your responsibility to evaluate the relevance of my advice and content don't blame me if you lose all your money you probably weren't paying attention to what i'm teaching you and you're not following my instructions so now since we're trading with real money i ask you only to risk a maximum one percent of your account balance if you are uh, very experienced and successful then you can trade with a little bit more but guys uh you know try to stick to this if you're uh, a beginner or new and for new traders uh, to this program trade on uh, on a demo account only for at least the next two three months okay so we're going to go right to the charts in just a moment let's take a look at the trade signals i sent out for you and this was uh, this previous week from july the 5th to the 9th okay and there were three signals in total you can see on july 6th 7th and 8th okay so First of all, July 6th, I sent out a signal to buy the USD CAD, guys. This was a huge winner. Okay, you can see that right here for 97 pips, and it hit our second take profit target area or level. Okay, so this was a really good trade. Congrats for taking this. And also, congrats if you took the next one on July the 7th. Uh, I sent out a signal by the British pound Australian dollar. It also was a winner. This one was a huge for 115 pips as it did reach your second take profit level and went further. And that's what the little plus uh, uh, symbol means. It went past our second profit and closed past our second profit. So if you close the trade, you would have gotten uh, 100, approximately 115 pips. So. Uh, now, on July the 8th, right here, 
uh, I issued and sent out a signal by the Euro New Zealand. Okay, actually, I was uh, contemplating by the British pound New Zealand, uh, uh, but I did send out this signal. Uh, it has retraced in the meantime. Keep your trade open, and we're going to look at the chart, and I'll uh, explain exactly what I mean by now. So we haven't closed a trade. It isn't a, a small loss position right now, but don't worry, guys. The number one thing I try to teach everyone is to have patience and follow my instructions. And my instructions are to keep this trade open, okay? So this past week, so far, we won a total of 212 pips. You can see that right here, guys. That is really fantastic. And hopefully it keeps adding up to your previous winning trades, guys. And uh, so we're going to now look at the chart for the very first one, the buy USD CAD. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, here we go. Now, the the first thing I want to... Um, I want to point out is that when I send out a free trade signal right here, you can see this is a copy of the signal I send out. And you can see there's a uh, the entry. In this case, uh, uh, it was a buy USD CAD uh, at 1.2454, uh, which is right there. Guys, I'll I'll go to the chart in just a moment. And... Uh, and then a stop loss. I give you the stop loss right here. I give you the first take profit target right there and the second take profit target right there. Okay. So let's take a look and analyze this trade. Okay. So on, uh, uh, on this date here, July the 6th, I sent you out the signal. And what I want to do is use my pointer here. So right here. At the close of this candle, there's the signal right there. At the close of this candle or the open of the next candle, uh, this was the entry at 1.2454, guys. And it did go up the next day. You can see it went up a little higher. And with this, the, uh, the top of that um, line or the wick, it did reach our first uh, take profit target of 1.25017. And then the uh, next day with this candle, guys, it went up all the way past the second take profit level of 1.2538 but then, and then came down just below that. So once uh, price hits the first profit um, take profit level right here, then immediately we move the stop. Here's the stop. We move the stop to just above the break even, 1.2454. Stop is here. Uh, price is here now. Okay. Um, I'm sorry when it hit the uh, first take profit target. And then uh, the next day it went up even higher. And uh, at that point, uh, you could have moved at uh, the stop again to just above the first take profit level right there. Price would have come down and stopped you out. Okay. Now, uh, we do play all of our trades with two positions. And guys, I'm going to explain that in a crystal clear fashion with the simple rules and exactly what we mean by two positions. So, Hold on to your hat, especially if you're a brand new uh, trader or seeing this for the very first time. Okay, but this is a trade. You can see it was a winner. So congrats, guys. This was a really terrific win for the first trade signal of this week. Okay, now we're going to look at the next uh, trade signal. Okay, okay here is the uh, second signal I sent out to you uh, this past previous week. It was on July the 7th right here. Here are the uh, instructions that I sent out by email. And guys, the only way you can get my free trade signals is by you sending me your email and I'll put you on my VIP list. And this is the information you're going to get. So on this date, July the 7th, you can see here, uh, it was a buy entry right here, 1.8431. You can see that. Uh, right here in the blue okay right there and then i uh, give you the stop loss right there guys the stop loss the first take profit target right here 184.83 and the second uh take profit target okay and that is uh 185.08 right here okay so let's take a look at this trade guys and you can see 
um, that, uh, first of all, here is the entry right here. There's the, I'm um, sorry, the entry signal, okay, with that little arrow there, guys. And I want to get use my pointer again. So, entry, 1.8431, okay, right there, guys. You can see at the close of this candle or the open of the next candle. Uh, it's the same thing, guys. When I say the close of the candle, the candles close 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is New York time zone for those world traders who are watching this video. Okay, uh, if, um, for the many traders here following me right here in Toronto, Canada, then it's 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Toronto time. Okay, so there it is, guys. Uh, the entry would have been right here. You can see the next day price shot up to the moon and, uh, went past our, uh, first take profit target right there. And, and, uh, here's our second. It went past our second. And close past our second take profit target of 185.8. Okay, so and closed right there. So um, uh, when you basically are uh, not watching your computer all day and you would have opened up your computer just maybe before 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this particular candle, you would have seen uh, the uh, position right there. And uh, not only did it hit the first and second take profit target and close there, you would now be moving up your stop loss. Uh, well, your first your first position, because if you're playing with two positions, which is what we're going to talk about in just a moment, because this is part of the entry rules for which this video is for. Okay, so... Uh, once that happens, you would be moving your um, stop loss right here, 182.87, all the way to your break even or just above. Your break even is the original, the original entry point right here at 1.8431. So just above that. Uh, some people have asked me how far above, and you know, because we're we're playing on daily candles, and and also you have to look at the. Um, the number of pips that uh, the, the particular volatility of this currency pair, it's quite large. So you could say 10, 15 pips or more higher, uh, uh, even higher than that above the original break even here. Uh, break even. Okay. So uh, then you can see the next day price uh, went up a little bit higher, came back down, but did not, did not come down. Uh, to hit our stop loss, okay. In fact, you could have moved your stop loss because it went past and closed past our second take profit. You could have moved your stop not only from here to here, but from here to just above the uh, uh, first take profit target. And, and I'll be explaining that in the rules coming up, guys. And on this particular day, it may may have come down. Let me just take that off. Uh, yeah, would have on this candle would have come down and hit, uh, taken out your uh, stop loss, which was raised just above the uh, first take profit target of 184.83. Uh, However, this was a huge winner, guys. So, congrats for taking this trade. And uh, like I said, it won over 110 pips or something like that. Um, so, there you go, guys. Another terrific trade. And let's go on to the third one. Okay, let me just. Uh, do that this was the uh buy euro new zealand i sent that out to you on july the 8th guys right here here's the set of instructions you can read that again i gave you the entry the stop loss the first take profit second take profit so everything is there for you guys and it's really really simple all you have to do is follow the instructions okay so let's take a look here was the entry right here. Uh, let me just, that's a bit sloppy. Let me do something else. Okay, right there. There is the entry at the close of this large candle. Here is the signal. And you can see on the next day, price went higher, not high enough to hit our first take profit of 1.7120 and came down just a wee bit. So this is kind of a, re it's a retracement candle, of course. Uh, and a bit of a resting candle and hopefully price from here is going to continue going higher. Okay. Hopefully that is the, uh, what's going to happen. And uh, so uh, when I say keep this trade open, 
uh, even though it retraced, uh, it did not fall below. See, here's our DTL line, our dominant trend line. This candle did not fall or close below the DTL line. So keep this trade open and see what happens. In fact, you can keep this stop loss at the same place. You can move it up a bit higher, but, uh, in, you know, you don't want to move it up too high. And, uh, and the reason is because from here, a candle may retrace down. But really, the reason for leaving the stop loss, uh, and pay attention, please. The reason for leaving the stop loss at the same level is because if the next candle closes below this DTL line, let's say right there, you're going to be stopped out. Uh, we want to take, we want to close the trade anyways. Okay. So you're not going to be stopped out automatically, but we do want to close the trade because that is one of the rules. Okay. It, that won't be explained in this video. That's, uh, uh, that's going to be in another video, but, uh, this is what we mean. So we don't really have to touch the stop loss anyways. And we want to, uh, just watch to see what happens on this next trading day, which is this coming Monday. Okay. So let's take all of that off and let's get on to, to the actual lesson. Okay. Okay. So the rules first, I want you to understand that they're very simple, but you've got to follow them properly. And, and this is the part that I sometimes don't understand. My rules are very simple, but not all of you are following them properly. And this, and this is why I produced this video. So it's a bit of a review as to what I've been teaching you all along, but it's going to be explained and shown to you in such a simple fashion, guys. You can't make any more mistakes. Okay. So the, with the very first thing, here when i send you a new free signal okay normally between 6 30 and 7 p.m eastern standard time okay that's when i send out a signal sometimes it's a few minutes after seven but mostly not it's it's usually before 7 p.m and after 6 30. i want you to do this okay so here is the uh, set of rules first take each trade i send out so this is really important take the trade when i send you a signal i'm doing a lot of work by the way guys you don't understand uh, there's a lot of work required to produce these signals i do a lot of analysis it's taking me a little bit longer than usual because i want to make sure i send you the uh, uh the information that is accurate and uh gives you a winning edge and i i you know there's nothing more than i want to I want then for you to make money and I want to mention this. This is very important. Every signal I send out to you, I take, I personally take myself. Okay. So these are not just signals, but I take them and I trade live with the signals. Okay. So, uh, that's why I want you to understand that I want you to take the trade. Don't pick and choose your ent your, your trades. Don't pick and choose and try not to figure out what I'm doing or how I analyze my trades. Further, don't use your own analysis or criteria for confirming trades. This includes taking limit orders. And I know a lot of, a lot of you are waiting. If I tell you to take a buy trade, uh, you automatically put place a, uh, a buy, uh, you know, limit order. Uh, and you're hoping for price to come down much lower and then you want to get in at a much lower price. Now, in theory, that's really good, but often you, you know, uh, your, uh, uh, your limit order is, is not hit. Okay. And you miss out on, on the trade altogether. So, uh, which often, uh, the limit orders are often not filled. The trades, and this is important, the trades you miss may end up being my best and winning winners. Okay. Also, your win-loss ratio and money percent gains will be skewed or, skewed or not optimized. So that's why I want you all to take all of my trades. Like, don't pick and choose. Don't don't base um, uh, entering a trade based on your own analysis. Um, try to do because every trade I send out, I'm taking guys. I'm taking my uh, and my results and my. Uh, 
uh, equity is rising. It's very good, and I'm making quite a bit of money. So, uh, okay, I want you to understand that is rule number one. Okay, let's go to uh, rule number two. Okay. Um, oh, I, before I do that, when I send you out a signal, this is the copy of a typical free trade signal. As you can see here, I'm using the example on July 7th. I sent you a signal by email uh, by the British pound uh, Australian dollar, guys. Here's the entry. I give you the entry. And I do say, or better. Better means in case price goes lower first, right? So remember, we want to take an uh, uh, entry trade right here. Uh, for this one, it's a buy trade, so we're expecting price to go up, right? But here it means, or better, in case price goes lower first, so lower first, and then you enter a buy trade at a lower price right there, okay? And that means you'll make this difference here from my original entry to your new entry at a lower price. You'll make uh, that additional uh, pips in pro profit as well. Okay, so and then these are instructions open this trade with two Positions with half of your normal lot size for each position now I've got a separate slide on this so uh, just hold on guys you can read this if you want right now But uh, we're gonna I'm gonna explain this very simple very simply in just a moment Okay, so let me take that off and let's go on to the next one Okay, now this is where I explain the um, uh, the dual positions. Okay, open every trade with two positions. Okay, now this is super important. Divide the trade in half, giving each position one half of your normal lot size. Use the position size indicator to determine the correct lot size allowed for one trade. Okay. And then split the lot size in half. I'm going to go to a chart and, and I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. Now you have two positions open, each with one half of the total lot size allowed. Round down your lot size with even numbers. Okay, so don't, um, you know, if it's kind of an uh, uneven number for your lot size, don't go higher, round down, okay? It, it's safer that way. The position size indicator sits right on your chart for easy reference. If you're a beginner or just starting with a free signal, then trade with a maximum 1% of your account balance, okay? And for the more experienced traders, you can trade obviously a little bit more than 1%, but uh, that's the recommended uh recommended amount uh in the beginning okay so let's take a look what i mean by two positions okay so first of all uh here is the trade entry guys for the british pound australian dollar okay and right there you open a trade with uh, uh you open a trade at this 1.84 uh 31 this is this was the entry okay now most traders, they would open up just one position, okay? A position is the same, almost the same, it means the same as a, as a trade, right? But uh, let's say your position size calculator or any calculator you use, like lot size calculator, which uh, you can get from the babypips.com. That's an excellent one, simple to use as well. But the uh, you don't see it on my chart. It sits on uh, on my chart, the position size indicator, which if you want, just ask for it and I'll send it out to you free of charge. It'll tell you automatically when you enter a trade, to open up a trade with a specific lot size that is determined by the amount of money you have in your account for trading okay so let's say in this case here it says um, uh, you can open up this trade with four okay with four lot um, let's say micro lots okay so four micro lots okay now you open up two positions two positions okay and that means each uh you're gonna first click on the buy trade you're gonna click on a buy for the first position okay and that's gonna be two micro uh two micro lots so you're gonna divide this in half okay so the first position has two micro lots then 
you click on another buy trade and at about the same time or moments later it doesn't matter okay uh, and you open up with another uh, two micro lots so now you have two different trades open here at approximately the same price level okay each with two micro lots so that's what I mean by dividing your normal lot size for one trade in half in this case the normal lot size for this trade based on the amount of money I had in my account would have been four lots guys I'm dividing that in half and I want to do even numbers okay so let's say this said three point um, six lots okay then you can you should round down so it would be two uh two micro lots okay right that's what i mean by round down and then you would divide that in half so your two positions would have one micro lot each right now mind you if you're very close very high up uh, again if you want to break a little little rule if you want, if you see, let's say it says micro lot 3.9, you're very high, close to the four, then just keep it at four and divide it in half and you will get two micro lots for each position. So that's what I mean, guys. For each and every signal I send out, take, and in this case, right there, take two different positions. So you click on the buy trade and then moments later, click on another buy trade. Okay. So. Hopefully that is crystal clear, guys, okay? Let me just take all of that off and let's get on to the next rule. Apply the stop loss to both positions. So I do send out the information on the free signal. I do give you the stop loss and you now apply the stop loss. You need to do this right away. This is important, guys. This is where you guys are cheating and sometimes not um, getting the same results that you should be. Don't delay and don't try to put this off, convincing yourself that you'll do it later. Okay, I don't want you to think about putting on a stop loss later, like an hour later, two hours later, the next day or whatever, and watch and see what price. I want you to get into the right healthy habit of putting on a stop loss immediately when you open up a trade. Okay, so once you take the first position, then immediately apply the stop loss. When you open the second position, then apply the stop loss. Okay, so you're doing this within moments uh, apart. Okay, now remember the most important rule in trading is to protect your money always. So if this is the most important rule, then why aren't you taking care of business and putting on the stop loss right away? So never ever open up a trade and 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 uh, not put on the stop loss right away. Okay, so that is super important. Let's uh, let's go to a chart there again. The same chart, the the buy British pound Australian dollar. Okay, so again. Just to show you, here's the entry, guys. You got in right here at the close of that candle. And uh, you put on the first position. You open up a buy trade. And then immediately put in your stop loss, 1.8287. Okay, that's good. Now, that trade, that first position is taken care of. Now, you open up a second trade with a, uh, it's called your second position. Again, put on the stop loss right here, guys, 1.8287. Now, some of you may, uh, depending on your person, trading personality and uh, if you're, if you're an aggressive or conservative trader, uh, you may put on a first position right away and then wait to see if price goes back down, right? back lower and then you want to take a second position but you can see right here guys let me take that off price when you got in price just went came down maybe by a few pips but did not really come down a lot and this is what i mean don't think about pending orders hoping price will come down even lower to hit your pending order so that you can take a, a buy trade at a much lower price sometimes it doesn't do that and in this case price shot up the next day and I, if you did not take a second position then you would be chasing price and let's say if your first position was here uh according to the entry maybe your second position you get right about there but already when prices move 15, 20 pips higher or more, okay? So this is, so I, I don't know about you guys, you can do whatever you want, but in my case, I normally take 
two positions right away. So once I send out the trade signal, I immediately send out, uh, take, take my, uh, two positions, um, approximately at the same level. I don't worry about price coming back down because I've got my stop loss in place. So I've got my plan. I, it doesn't matter if price comes down, down a wee bit more. And I just want to make sure I've got my business all attended to. And this is what I recommend. Okay. So this is what I mean by stop loss on both positions. Let me take that off and let's get on to the next number four. Apply the first take profit level to one position only. Even though you have two positions open, the first take profit level is applied to only one and not the other position. When price hits the first take profit level, the first position will be auto closed and profit, right? You've already put on the uh, first take profit level on the first position. position. So when price reaches the first uh, take profit level, uh, it's going to be automatically closed. And by the way, guys, um, I have close to an 80% winning ratio. So most of the trades are going to hit the first take profit level. And it's nice to know that you, you don't have to worry that you've now bagged some pips. You've already made some profits when price hits the first take profit level. So it's no longer in play. You don't have to watch the computer all day when you do this. Okay. Now, when price hits the first take profit level, your second position is still in play, right? It's still open. And if price goes higher, the second position will earn more profits. You can close the second position manually in profit anytime. And that's why you only put the uh, take profit level on your first position. The second one, you leave it running to see if price can go higher and higher. Okay. And that's when the fun starts and that's when you, when you start making more money. So hopefully you understand that. Let's go take a look at the chart again. Okay. And you can see here again, we got in right there, guys. Price went up. Uh, you can see on this next day, price went up right here and price actually hit the first take profit level. So what happens again right here at this level? Well, you, if you had two positions running, the first position is automatically closed here at 1.8483, which is the first take profit level. Okay. But your second position is now running higher and closes even well above the second take profit level of 8508. Okay. So that's what we mean. Your first take profit, you you gained some pips. Uh, they're actually logged in and uh, you don't have to worry. So you've already made money. Your second position closes right there, guys. And uh, you can now manually close it if you want to. And because you had the second position open without the, uh, the uh, take profit level uh, applied to the second position, this is the amount of money you would have made from here all the way to there. Your first position you would have made money from here, your entry to the first take profit. Your second position that uh, you have in play from here, your entry to all the way here. And that's where you're going. To, that's where and how you're going to make a lot of money, guys. So again, that's uh, what I mean by having two positions and putting on your take profit level at only one for only one position. Okay. And uh, guys, uh, this is crystal clear. Uh, you should not be making any more mistakes after this. Okay. So let's go on to number five. Okay. Now, once price moves and hits your first take profit level or goes beyond, you move your stop loss on the second position, right? Now, remember, you're, you, you don't, you, you, there is no more first position. It already closed out, gave you a profit. You're only now thinking uh, about your second position is still in play, right? So once price moves and hits the first take profit level or goes beyond that, you now need to move your stop loss to BE, which is break even, okay, or better. Better means a little bit higher than your break even, okay? Uh, and your break even again is the uh, original entry on your second position as, and you need to do this as soon as possible. Remember, it's still in play, your second position. So note, 
Again, I want to just repeat, your break even is your original entry level. You need to do this for your second position. Why? Because it's, it's now in a free trade and you're doing this for two reasons. One, to protect your profits that you have already gained, right? Because uh, after prices hit the uh, first take profit and gone higher, uh, you're in a big profit here and you want to protect it, right? And then secondly, to prevent your win from losing any more money in case price suddenly reverses, okay? So that's the reason there. Let's take a look here at the chart. Same chart, guys, and hopefully uh, I'm making this crystal clear for you. So again, uh, this is your entry right there, okay? Price went all the way up to over here. Uh, and if you were watching, uh, if you were watching this uh, during the day, which is not what I recommend, really, but you, you really have to let the candle close. Always allow a candle to close before you decide what to do next. But when this candle closed here, you now move your stop loss on your second position for your second position to just above the 1.8431, which is the break even uh, level. Uh, and the break even is also known as the original entry. This is the original entry that I asked you to enter your trade in right there. Okay. So now price is up here. Your stop loss is here. But in this case, because price went even past your and that's part of one of the rules in case price goes past your second take profit level, you actually could have moved your stop loss to just above your first take uh, profit level, 184.83. So it's like a step, right? Okay, so you're moving it higher, higher, higher. Okay, and then of course you want to, uh, uh, you want to prevent uh, losing money in case price comes back down. In this case, you see, price here on this next candle came down right to here okay you can see with this lower wick and would have stopped you out but your second position would still be have made quite a bit bit of money it would have made money from here to from here to here and a little bit higher okay your first and your first position uh would have been from here to here okay so uh money all away, all around and guys and that's how you do that and let's get going to the next point and that is number six here move your stop loss further on your second position further is what i just basically explained to you um, once price moves and hits the first take profit level or goes beyond and keeps going further in profit, you can move your stop loss to, to the first take profit level. So at, uh, sometimes price just hits the first take profit level, guys, and you're going to move your stop immediately to just above break even. But when price moves to the second take profit level and beyond, then you move your stop to just above the first take profit level okay now you do this as soon as possible as well and remember it's still in play your second position and in a good trend and this is why i say in a good trend price may go much further giving you more and more profits remember you can close your your second position manually anytime i just want to repeat this one more last time let's go to the chart so guys here this we got in the trade right there price went up and let's say this candle did not end up all the way here it ended up just to let's say here uh bef before your second take profit okay so this candle let's just pretend for for a moment because i'm trying to illustrate a very important point it closed right here then uh once it hits the first take profit level you move your stop to just above the break even your original entry okay and then let's say the next day this candle moves and closes here okay this is the next day let's pretend that happened closed above here then you would then as a step step one is here step two you move it to just above uh this is for your second position only right the first position is not in play you, it's already closed on profit so we only have the second position your stop is moved now higher to just above the first take profit level of 184.83 okay so and then of course the next day uh if price did come back down 
down below and uh, would have hit your stop and you still would have made really good money with your uh, with your uh, second position now in this case because price ended up with on the next day of candle all the way up here this is really way above the second take profit uh you could have just closed your uh second position right here and bagged a lot more pips without worrying uh, worrying about this this candle and this situation where price reverses and you don't have to worry about your stop being here then okay so crystal clear guys hopefully that makes some sense and let's get going to the uh to the next point and that's number seven and it's the last part of the lesson and this is really important guys occasionally price moves into profit very quickly hitting the first take profit or beyond, and then suddenly reverses all in the same daily candle. Okay, I'm going to explain that in just a moment when we look at the charts. The first position is auto-closed in profit, but the second position is exposed, and when price reverses in a big way, you may not have had time to move the stop loss to break even or better. Your second position may now result in having a small loss. Okay, so uh, this this has happened a few times. Okay, and I'll, I'm going to go to the chart in just a second. I'm looking at providing an expert advisor that automatically takes care of this problem. The EA uh, stands for expert advisor will auto move the stop immediately beyond the break even after price hits the first take profit level okay so let's take a look again just to make this uh kind of clear as to what i'm saying okay so you get in right here right okay and sometimes price comes up let's say right to here uh, uh hitting the first take profit level so automatically your first position is closed but then on the same day before you have a chance, it actually comes down and reverses all the way back here below your entry. So now you're in a loss for your second position, right? So this has happened a few times. Not, it doesn't happen too often, but it has happened at least, uh, you know, uh, maybe 10, 15% of the time for all the tr trade signals I sent out. So again, just to explain, sometimes you enter a trade, price goes up, hits the first take profit level, but comes right back down, okay, and uh, your second position is in a loss position, okay, below your original entry. So we wanted, what we want to do is take care of this problem, and that is, guys, uh, if we, if there is an expert advisor or a robot that can control the money management of this, so once price does hit the first take profit, immediately um, on the second position. The stop loss is moved up to just above uh, the break even or at a point where you want it to be. Okay. And, uh, and then if price does come back down, you can't lose any more money on your second position. It's actually closed, but with maybe just a few pips profit. Okay. So that's what we mean by using an expert advisor to help contain this problem, which happens occasionally okay so that is the lesson hopefully guys i'm going to send out an ea to some of you traders just for you to test it out there is one out there it is free guys but uh, i just want you to know it's maybe not perfect but it might be doable for what we need okay so uh with that said guys that that is it for the free trade signals um video for this week Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully I made the rules crystal clear. Guys, uh, the main thing is follow all my instructions and take all trades, okay? There's no need to be worried about anything because, because I take all trade signals myself, the very ones I sent out to you. So if you want my free trade signals, send me your email address. It's your email address. Send it to right here. Uh, at mskyj007 at gmail.com mskyj007 at gmail.com okay and i'll put you on my vip list and you'll get my next free trade signal now this is me again cheers from canada don't forget to subscribe 
and uh, um, you know especially if you're new viewer to this video series uh, again guys uh, send me a, uh, you know click on the like first of all because it tells me I'm doing a good job I want everybody to send me a like I think I did a terrific job on this particular video described all the trade entry rules that give me a winning edge and I want you to have them so that uh, you can win on your trades as well. And also send me any comments that you'd like. I'll get back to you as well. So again, guys, this is it. Bye for now. Take care and uh, look forward to the next video. Bye for now.